Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, man, that's a lively crowd. Thank you all for being here. Thank you so much to the band, too. Dude, I think they did a fabulous job. This is about basic economic fairness. That's what this whole, I, all these ideas that I'm talking about are about the same thing. They're about economic fairness. They're about making sure that everybody in America gets exactly the same chance. You know, I'm lucky, I was blessed. I was born into a family where we didn't have anything, but I worked hard, had some luck, and my country was there for me, and I've now been, had everything you could ever hope for. Everybody in America should have that chance. So what are we gonna do about it? Here's what I wanna do about it. A whole group of things. One, at the, at the lower levels, we, the Congress finally raised the minimum wage. It's going to go to $7.25 an hour. It's fine. It's not enough. Minimum wage ought to be at least $9.5 an hour. It ought to be indexed to go up on its own so that it keeps going up and up. The minimum wage. Second, we have to strengthen the right of unions to organize in the workplace so that unions can actually organize workers and collectively bargain. We need to change the law in order to do that. We need to make it easier for kids to go to college. What's happened is Bush has taken billions of dollars out of the federal budget for kids to go to college. Here's my idea. It's really simple. It's called College for Everyone, where we say to every young person in America, if you graduate from high school and you're qualified to go to college and you're willing to work while you're there, at least 10 hours a week, America will pay for your tuition and books. Very simple. We need to have a different trade policy in America. Our trade policy doesn't work. NAFTA, CAFTA, all these trade agreements. I don't have to tell the people in this area what it's done. It's been devastating. Devastating to American jobs, devastating to the American economy. You know, America has to trade. We should trade. But we should do it in a way that makes sense. And that means we should have real environmental and labor standards that the President of the United States enforces. We ought to shut these tax loopholes for companies that are taking jobs overseas. This is crazy. It doesn't make any sense at all. I want to be the president who revitalizes rural America. And there's a whole, I got a whole group of ideas about how we do that. Let me just do them very quickly. And they're all about creating economic fairness. Just so that everybody gets a chance. So that everybody, no matter where you live, gets a chance. For example, we should have a national capital fund to make money, capital, available to new businesses that will operate and start in smaller towns and smaller communities. Right now, all the capital stays in big cities. we got to get it out to the rural areas. Second, we got to build broadband, high-speed internet, out to all the parts of the country so that you, no matter where you live in America, you have access to high-speed internet. Third, farmers. We need to be behind family farmers, not behind these big corporate farming operations. We ought to give bonuses to teachers who are willing to go teach in the more difficult places, in smaller towns, smaller communities, poorer areas, so that they have an incentive, our best teachers, to go to the places we need them the most. What I have proposed is a bonus that could go up to $15,000 a year for teachers that are willing to do that. And one last thing. We got to, the national government needs to be providing help to local communities for public employees. And that means not just teachers, it means nurses. We have a huge nursing shortage in rural areas in this country. It means our firefighters need to have the support that they deserve so they can get the equipment that they need to make sure that the services that need to be available in smaller towns and smaller communities are in fact there and available. Because I want, this is where I come from. This is why it's important to me. You know, I think sometimes presidential candidates, Republicans and Democrats, Think of rural America as a place you fly over, you know, when you go from one place to another, right? That's not me. This is very important to me, and it's important to me personally. Thank you all very much for coming, and I'll be glad to take some questions. Let's take this gentleman right here.